Before we saw that you have different substituents that specifically are alkyl groups. Remember what alkyl groups are? They're just groups that only consist of carbon and hydrogen. But now we're going to look at substituents that don't just consist of carbon and hydrogen or even consist of carbon and hydrogen at all. So like for this one, I'm going to see our halogen substituents. We're going to see a lot of different types of halogen substituents, specifically these four. Now, our substituents will have different prefixes like we saw with the alkyl groups, where in this case, bromine would be represented as bromo. And then fluorine is fluoro, chlorine is chloro, and then iodine is going to be iodo. Let's go ahead and apply this to this example here, where of course, we're gonna identify the longest carbon chain first. So identifying the longest carbon chain, I'm gonna see there's one, two, three, and four carbons overall. So four carbons, and remember,